Like normally, those two girls that I talk to that annoy and scream. If I'm one of the more human looking clans, uh, I can drink them. They're referred to as blood dolls. And with a companion mod, I can actually make them followers. What were you thinking? Er. Uh, the museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Der. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! And, uh, Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Take it. My museum is wrecked! Do you understand? Now, if you'd like to atone, or if you'd like to provide further assurance of your innocence, I have... I made some threats against my sister. Idle threat, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Two. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. Alright. Unfortunate circumstance. Look at those G's. Oops. Well, that's a problem. I know how you feel, man. Excuse me. It was a setup. I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. I had to lock myself in the bathroom because now she's got a gun and... Please, you have to help me! Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up and... Did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. Hurry! I 
Hehe. <laughs> Hey guys. You stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you. But you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this. But you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? obvious. I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say Daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Go on. Had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Go on. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night. Pious as a nun. Stable as the Earth's orbit. It's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Is that true? She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Mm. Personal. As I said... To trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? 
Remember, Father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Therese. I was always good to Father. But Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese. He placed his finger on the trigger. Once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give Father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the gun. Why? How will this time be any different? Three. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction, which is something a pigtailed, face-painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. Don't sabotage. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous and you deserve it. Therese, give her more responsibility. More responsibility? So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. Make a truce. If she would stop treating me like a child. If she would start behaving like a rational adult. You have to get along sometime. Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt. So we stayed inside and we imagined our own world. Okay. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times. Before we grew apart. You don't want to kill each other, do you? I never did, no. I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give... Offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tongue? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of you. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me a gun. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. Thanks. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince. And keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. Oh, bitches be crazy. I've got a giant, like, ward on my back.